everybody. So I covered apologies before in an episode title apology on the Midday Reset podcast and I'm following that up with some more details about apologies because it seems like the more piss poor examples that we have of apologies that bubble up to the surface, the more people tend to glom onto those and think that that's how it's supposed to be done. And for the record, I'm not recording this video to address any specific controversy or behaviors that people have taken to putting onto social media and sharing proudly that they then feel that they have to turn around and apologize for. We're all adults here, so if you choose to act in ways that you then later have to follow up with feeling sorry for, that's on you. I'm simply here to talk about how to apologize for things when they happen. And mainly, an apology serves as a statement of personal responsibility for wrongdoing. It's not a place to point fingers and ask, but what about? And if you can't be sincere in an apology, I have to ask the question of why you would even go to the trouble of making one. Most of offensive actions or words can be digested better without the follow-up of an insincere apology, which is basically the equivalent of pulling open a wound, squeezing a lime into it, and then sprinkling salt over it. Last I checked, there were no laws on record stating that you were obligated to apologize in certain circumstances. Apologies are supposed to be acts of courtesy, and it's not courteous to be fake, so why waste the energy? Let me know your thoughts on this and if you're seeing the same things that I'm seeing or if you feel like, girl, Antoinette, you have lost your mind this time. Be sure to also subscribe and like the content over at the Midday Resets page so that we can continue to spread the love and take care.